It's tomorrow and I'm here hunting for box turtles in this nice wooded area. So let's get started. Um, right off the bat, I don't see anything. Post another video and I had a hole dug last year and I caught one turtle out of this. This is how deep it is. I mean, it was a lot deeper because here's my foot and here's my other foot. But, uh, yeah, that was a nice hole. I, I mean, it doesn't look very good now because it's obviously been filled in a lot, but that took me a long time. So, some dude on a mower is not making this very easy to talk, but I am on the hunt. Um, I don't really appear, there doesn't really appear to be anything around. This is a creek that runs all the way down there. Now I'm getting a bunch of dust on me from stupid mower. We're right on the edge of civilization. There's some poison ivy. The three leaf. Okay, uh, still hunting around. Not much happening here. Try to find another one for you guys. I really wanted to find one. Otherwise, this video is not going to be very interesting. And that would really help me out. So, we'll just kind of walk around, see if we can see anything. And, uh, I'm not seeing much. I mean, trees, it is late spring, I guess I'll tell you guys a little bit about hunting box turtles and how the ways that have worked for me, again, this time on the hunt. So you know, if you've watched my last video, that you can dig a hole, and that's how I caught one three-toed box turtle, or you can just, you know, get up a little earlier and drive around on the road, or you can do what I'm doing and actually hunt around for box turtles. Tried all three in the process of the third one right now. And it does not prove to be an easy task ever. I have walked around for hours not finding anything. And uh, I found two ornates yesterday on the road. That's another way. Um, that works really, really well. I have really used that a lot. And that is my favorite way to hunt box turtles. But that's not the only way. There are other ways. I am searching every little crack in this place. I'm going to walk around it all. Let's see if I can get a picture of that guy on the mower. Um, beer bottle. This is looking kind of good. Up at, oh, there's that mowing guy. Um, I don't know why, but all this stuff is dead. These leaves have not deteriorated yet. We do have new green grass growing though, so that's kind of kind of nice for box turtles. I mean, you know, water down here, but when it floods or rains a lot, yet there this creek does move, and it can get pretty full. I've seen it where these logs that I'm standing on right there are completely underwater, so it is possible. Um, that's about it on box turtles, um, where you can find them. Obviously, I'm not doing very good hunting them out here, but on my last videos, I haven't really shared with you the life expectancy and the real responsibility of turtles. So, I'll go over that while I'm hunting here. It is very important that you know how long box turtles live. And they live a long time, longer than most people expect. Some box turtles, they'll live 12 to 15 years and they'll die. That is still a long time. But some box turtles, they can live 50, 75, even 100 years. So you really need to watch that. And if you're getting a wild box turtle, you don't want to 
sell it to someone that you don't know because that's not really fair to the turtle. You don't know those people and they don't know those people. And so those people might not feed the box turtle, some form of neglect, not water it, not have a big enough pin. So if you're getting a turtle from the wild, like I am today, I would advise you to keep it for as long as you want, but don't let it get too tame. There is something good about having a tame box turtle, but there are more things good about having a little more wild box turtle. You get a tame box turtle that you feed with tongs, it's not going to live in the wild after you turn it loose again. But if you have a big enclosure, you just throw the bugs in there, then the box turtle is wild still. It feels wild. Even though it can't go anywhere, it is still catching food on its own. It's not taking it from someone's hand. So that is very important that you don't make your box turtle too tame. It's all right to handle them, get to know them and stuff. If they're tame around humans, that's not a problem. The problem is when they become too tame to eat, like, the problem is when they become so tame that they don't know how to hunt. They get lazy and fat, and that is not going to make for a healthy box turtle. And when you want to let it go, you can't because it will die. So, those are some are the most important things you need to know. Oh, I think I just found one. Ornate. Male. And he is not liking that, but... Ooh. Well, our hunt is over. Finally, I found an ornate. That is a good thing, so... Found an ornate. You guys got to know a little bit about turtles and this guy wow he wants to go so I already have a few turtles myself I have another ornate male and I have two females at home so I don't really need him I'm gonna set him free right back where I found him over here in this taller grass right where I never looked but walked around 50 times there he is Pretty little guy. Be free, little box turtle. Well, what a good day. About eight minutes out here, maybe ten. That is like a record for me in finding a box turtle. Um, well, you can't come out here and hunt like I did today on just any day. This is a beautiful day. It's about 75 degrees out here. Late spring day. It's like May 29th, I think. And uh, we just had a lot of rains, but it dried up so fast because we were in such a bad drought. So the turtles obviously moved, and now they're all being washed up in these dry areas because all the water evaporated. So I'm very happy with that. Uh, I'll make another video later, to, and we'll go on a hunt again sometime because this is pretty fun, I have to admit. Now I'm back in the open. And, uh, uh, that's pretty much it. Rate, comment, subscribe. Later.